Hi, Jim Jordan here speaking to you from Ashland, Oregon on March 7th, 2013. And today I want to talk to you about what is probably the number one area of inquiry I get um, on my website for health, health-related issues, um, and that is uh, neurotransmitter imbalances or issues related to brain chemistry, mood, uh, specifically depression, poor memory, anxiety, poor sleep quality. So I would say I get probably about three or four times more inquiries into this area of health than any other area, um, whether it's gastrointestinal or you know, muscle pain or whatever. So it's obvious that more and more people are feeling um, something's out of whack with their brain, with their moods, and, um, and I understand that I understand that very well. I've had my share of issues with sleep and depression over the years and I've, I've talked about this before but what today I want to talk to you about is how it's many people are often looking for um, some special one thing that is going to fix their brain chemistry, the special supplement or special therapy when in fact I think the first step is to look at the brain chemistry in the context of the overall body and the overall health of the body. So we start with what is affecting our brain. Obviously the brain is getting blood flow to it uh, or it would die. It needs oxygen and nutrients and toxins do get through into the brain. Um, the the blood-brain barrier does filter some out but not everything. So what I've seen over the years is uh, toxins like heavy metals and chemicals will definitely affect one's ability to concentrate, uh, their mood, their serotonin levels, their ability to get into fall into deep sleep, um, and their overall uh, capacity to concentrate and focus. Also, uh, not getting all the nutrients one needs, um, getting heavy nutrient deficiencies, a diet that's not right for you, is going to affect your, your brain chemistry, your mood, your neurotransmitter balance. So let's start with some basic fundamental things that I would, that I would recommend. Um, for balancing your brain chemistry. So number one, and surprisingly for a lot of people, they would probably not think about this, is a really healthy elimination process. Your bowels have to be moving very well. And the reason is if they're not, then toxins will back up into your bloodstream, recycle, and cause brain fog, depression, low energy. Uh, if chemicals are getting in that are um, that excitotoxin chemicals, in through your food supply, it's going to cause irritation, anxiety, inability to concentrate. So actually, colon function and liver function are the foundation of getting your brain chemistry in balance. So for that, there's different protocols, different practitioners use. I have a particular protocol that I can let you know about if you contact my office. And um, But that's the basic starting point. Let's get that uh, balance first. Second is, are you getting the basic essential nutrients your brain needs to function? So the brain needs protein, of course, all the amino acids. So if you're not eating a healthy diet, if you're not digesting your protein properly, you won't have the amino acid precursors to the neurotransmitters that you need. And you're, 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 you're potentially going to have issues, whether it's concentration, memory, uh, energy, ability to focus, uh, depression, something that's going to go out of whack. So a diet that focuses on high quality protein, preferably cooked at low temperature, so it's not been, the proteins haven't been damaged and the fats haven't been damaged, so those proteins then can be assimilated and broken down into amino acids so your brain can actually use them. Perfect, you got good protein, you got good fats too. You need good, healthy, stable fats. Saturated fat is the most important fat, actually, uh, contrary to what people are, have been told these days. You need good quality saturated fat from butter, eggs, uh, coconut oil, meat, things like this are going to provide you the basic building blocks fats you need to build healthy cells. You need some omega-3 fats. Um, you can get that from good quality flax oil or fish oil. Lately I'm not recommending fish oil very often because a lot of it's been oxidized. But um, good quality uh, fats from uh, flax oil would be great. Third, you're going to need uh, some basic decent carbohydrate source too. You, without carbohydrates your brain is not going to work properly. So these Zero carb diets are not healthy. You gotta have good carbohydrates, fruits and vegetables, um, beans, maybe some whole grains, preferably non-gluten, 
Uh, if you don't eat grains, which is fine, maybe some starchy vegetables, but you have to sort of figure out what is your optimum amount of carbohydrates relative to fat and protein for you. And that could be different for each person. So metabolic typing is a system that can help you discover what is your ideal ratio, or you can work it on your own. It's, it's, it's not that hard to figure out. Uh, next, you're going to need um, uh, adequate hydration and electrolytes. Minerals actually conduct electricity, helps the brain work better. Water is essential for all the cells in the body. So adequate water, pure water with minerals, healthy, balanced, perfect. You're going to drink the water that you need. Uh, there's no rigid rule about that. Take your body weight, divide it by two, to drink that many ounces in in small small amounts throughout the day. That's a good starting point to figure it out. So that should help. Um, so we got those basic things covered, nutrients, getting some toxins, the bowels at least moving, liver moving, waste out of the blood. If there's some heavy metals, you might have had a mouthful of dental fillings, you might be drinking beer out of aluminum cans for 10 years, uh, smoking cigarettes, whatever it is, you know, working in metal uh, or on metals and stuff like that in the environment or inhaling chemicals from uh, pesticides being sprayed on your farm, whatever the source is, uh, most people have chemicals and heavy metals that are messing with their brain. So it's great to do a heavy metal chemical detoxification. There's multiple steps to this. Uh, again, I can coach you on that, but just for you to know that heavy metals and chemicals will affect your brain. No way around it, gotta face it, clean up the diet, organic, good quality air, get out in nature, uh, exercise, deep breathing, uh, and get a heavy metal chemical detox program go, going in. I got one that I use in my practice uh, that's fantastic, so I can tell you about that if you, if you give me a call. Um, next is, and probably the l most recent biggest issue is electromagnetic radiation, damage to brain cells, cell phones, cell towers, wireless routers, computers, all that stuff sticking it next to your head damages your brain cells, no doubt about it. Um, you can wait for the, uh, the, the, the establishment uh, science to acknowledge it, or you can just do a little research on your own and figure out that's the case. Keep your cell phone away from your head. Speak on the speakerphone function. Um, that's the way to go. Um, and on top of all this, if you really want, if you need a specific brain chemistry formula, uh, there are brain chemistry formulas with the nutrient combinations that are just right for your particular neurotransmitter deficiency. So on my website, you can um, you can uh, order uh, for my services the neurotransmitter deficiency uh, assessment questionnaire. Uh, you can order that with the recommendations will be sent to you, um, and I can give you some recommendations on specific supplements. Um, one last thing: uh, sunlight. Make sure you get adequate sunlight. Sunlight helps regulate the hormones, helps regulate the brain chemistry. Um, you got to get that every day if possible. Um, so this is a quick overview of the basic, basic things you need to do to get your brain chemistry balanced. You can get more specific if you call my office at 541-482-2250. My website is www.createvibranthealth.com. Yeah, hope you have a great day.